is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Thank you for listening. And I genuinely want to say thank you for joining me on this journey of relaxation. say a couple of things. Uh, visit my website. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff on there. Every single recording is available on my website. Not just this podcast, but all of them. And so, also, I was just thinking this before I started this recording. It's not just what you do or what you think about or when you're laying down on your bed that affects the quality of your sleep. It's also what you do the rest of the time. What you do the rest of the day necessarily going to be focusing on that with this recording. But it's worth looking into that. Looking into ways that you can reduce your stress levels during your waking hours. I do actually have a podcast for that. It's not really an advert, but it's uh, my podcast, Relaxation for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. It's quite popular, so that would be focusing more on that side of things. But the main thing is for you to reduce your stress. just in 
the same way that with meditation focus and increase a, a sense of general well-being. However, changes during those other 24 hours of the day when you're not sitting on a cushion or on a chair meditating also needs attention. in the same way as if you if you live on fast food greasy fast food that's very unhealthy and that's all you eat except for one salad a day you have one salad every day but the rest of it is burgers and chips and stuff that I like then there's a chance that yeah the salad is still going to be helping you other stuff is possibly going to get in the way of the real benefit, dietary benefit that that salad can give you. However, one salad a day is better than no salad a day. Although I don't really fancy eating a salad, I'd rather eat a burger, but So, what I am going to focus on is an affirmation. And I haven't done enough of these affirmations really. These affirmations are absolutely amazing things because it's something you can do any time of the day or night. Now, the warning with this affirmation that we do during these recordings is you may connect it with being asleep so maybe or falling asleep or feeling tired listening to my voice because I know that a lot of people a lot of you listening to this if you listen regularly regardless of what I'm saying you're just automatically going to feel tired ready to fall asleep. So maybe you can use these affirmations at night when you're lying in bed. And there's a few benefits other than the positivity of the words that you're saying to yourself. Just like with meditation, when you're focusing on your breath, or if you're focusing just on an object, it could be a candle. However boring that is, focusing on a, cam a candle, whilst you're focusing on that candle, you're not thinking about financial issues that you may have. You're not thinking about problems from the past you're not worrying about anything you're just focusing on that candle and being able to have 10 or 20 minutes where all you're doing is focusing on a candle for example gives your body and your mind stuff and what can happen is your mind starts to get used to that feeling and likes that feeling and your unconscious mind starts to take that as a or takes it as 
because that's what you want your unconscious mind starts to think that you want more of that because you're doing it more regularly because what we do is what we become what we focus on is what we generally get more of now I'm not going to focus on a candle because I think that's really boring plus I don't have a candle and I like the idea of using affirmations instead of that like inanimate object because the affirmations are actually going to increase your self worth as well as giving you a break from worrying and stress and thinking about stuff that you don't need to be thinking about because this is your time to sleep your time to just relax to feel calm almost your time to get to know yourself or to talk to yourself using your own voice not saying stuff to yourself that other people have said not putting yourself down the way that other people may have put you down in the past not being cruel to yourself not being abusive to yourself verbally because that's not you those aren't your words so you can start to choose your own words your words as you talk to yourself side influences and I do realise I'm a bit of an outside influence but not in a negative way and you also have the choice to choose different words to use as an affirmation but I'm going to give you an affirmation to use just for this recording and then you can choose maybe something else that you wish to repeat to yourself next time you go to sleep I'm going to use is something that I say quite often on my recordings and it's something that I believe and it's not my words you know it's my words but it's not I don't own this sentence I didn't make it up or create it but it's a really lovely sentence to say to yourself to repeat to yourself and just as I was saying that I was thinking to myself should the affirmation be to do with sleep because it could be you could have an affirmation telling yourself I sleep easily you could have an affirmation which is completely the opposite to what you've been saying to yourself in the past regarding sleeping so you've been saying in the past that you struggle to sleep at night maybe your affirmation can be I sleep like a baby at night I sleep soundly at night I sleep so easily at night So my affirmation was going to be non-sleep related but I'm thinking that maybe a sleep one would be better however I'm going to 
I stick with my one because then you can choose what affirmation feels nice and feels right for you. And you can use a different affirmation every night. The main rule is this. The words that you say to yourself full of kindness they have to be positive and when you say it to yourself say it gently say it to yourself the way that how you'd like to be spoken to how you'd like someone to maybe say it to you like genuinely Maybe the way that you would say it to a small child or someone that you love deeply. So the sentence, the affirmation that I'm going to use is this. I deserve to be happy. person I deserve to be happy because that's how you would say it to yourself you wouldn't say to yourself you deserve to be happy because that's talking to someone else so make it personal direct it at yourself So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do it ten times. And I'll bring the recording to an end. I won't say anything. And you can just continue to say it. Continue to repeat the words. And notice how you feel. Because the worst case scenario situation that can happen so ideally we want to be able to fall asleep which may mean you know requiring you to do a, an affirmation that is focused on sleeping which I guess would make sense but you know what I'll settle for you feeling really good about yourself So, and then it's up to you what you do with it. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna count down by number. I'm just gonna say the sentence, just say the affirmation, and you can repeat it after me, word for word. I'll say it ten times, and I'll bring the recording to an end just fade out but you can continue to say it and as you start saying it from the very beginning even though you've possibly already starting to feel differently inside uh, a sense of optimism and love and kindness directed like there's a, a light shining on you it's just full of kindness reminding you that actually you do deserve to be happy it's almost that's all it is really it's a, a reminder but it's something that we need to be reminded regularly I'm going to start now I say, giving you time to say it to yourself, and 
just say it internally. You can say it out loud if you want to. Or you can just say it inside your mind. Noticing how deeply relaxed you feel with every word that you say. How much more tired you feel. And how you you start to feel that happiness, the reality, the truth of the words that you repeat after me. Now, I deserve to be 